back when I worked in a grocery store, the, the worst shift to get scheduled was always the 7 to 11. It started early enough and it ended late enough where it seemed like it just kind of took over your whole day. And anything interesting that was going on outside of work was seemed like it was always happening at that time. But I think if 2020 as a year was a shift, it would easily rank as one of the hardest shifts ever worked. And now that we finally have clocked out, it's time to take a look at what we've learned and the forever changes coming out of 2020 for shift-based workplaces. For hourly workplaces, the pandemic created a lot of challenges, especially from an employment and an operational perspective. Uh, but many were able to successfully make a shift in how they operate in order to help slow the spread of COVID. And when I work had the opportunity to help them make that shift. Data played a huge role in helping us understand what was happening. Every year, millions of hourly employees work hundreds of millions of hours across nearly 200,000 workplaces that are running on When I Work. All of this activity, it generates billions and billions of data points that gives us almost a real-time visibility into the ups and downs of employment and operating behavior. We use this data to create an economic benchmark called the Hourly Workforce Index. The goal with this index is to bring attention to the employment dynamics of the hourly workforce and to help workplaces better understand how the future of work is shifting. The first thing we saw happen right as the pandemic unfolded, unemployment among hourly workers quickly outpaced the overall unemployment rate. And for those that were still working, they were only getting about half the hours they were before. During the same time, the data revealed a change in the way that workplaces were operating. The biggest change, a 10x increase in the use of flexible self-scheduling, particularly in restaurants and retail that have been able to adapt and keep as many of their employees working as possible. BYOD surged as well, and workplaces were able to replace their communal shared time clock with contact-free options. The impact of these trends enabled healthcare organizations to quickly schedule and safely dispatch thousands of workers to COVID testing sites with just a few days notice. The index also exposed the employment impact of each state's pandemic response and even suggested that mask mandates may improve employment. And there was a Goldman Sachs study that found a similar opportunity with GDP. But perhaps the biggest discovery was how underrepresented the hourly workforce is in the national employment data set and the opportunity for us at When I Work to give the hourly workforce a bigger voice through better data. Overall, 2020 cemented what was already underway, and the hourly workforce index revealed that workplaces that embrace flexible self-scheduling, mobile first, and a safe, empathetic work environment create happier, more productive, and more fulfilled hourly teams. And as we clock into a new year, when I Work will continue its commitment to helping hourly teams work better together and get shift done.